So in order for you to do this, first thing you need to do is jailbreak your extra beam. If you haven't jailbroken your extra beam, I highly recommend that because it opens the door to a lot more capabilities of this thing. But first thing is you need is a Bluetooth keyboard. I recommend one of these foldable Bluetooth keyboards that you can easily transport. In this case, I have one that extra sent to me. I am grateful for, but yeah, I'm going to leave a link to one on Amazon in the description if you want to get one of these. But this is basically what you need to do your jailbreaking. That's all. You don't need any extra wires or anything like that. Once your Bluetooth keyboard is connected and paired, what you're going to do is you're going to press Command N. That Command N will bring up your notifications uh, panel and you're going to drag it down. This is all built into the extra beam. Once you bring it down, then you're going to click on the settings notification. That settings will take you to your developer option. That's where you can jailbreak your device pretty easy. Now, once you have jailbreaking your device and you want to have things like Netflix in a special display, what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings, click on application management, then go to whatever apps it is that you want to enable to have special. For example, Netflix, which I had already done, you go to display mode, um, interaction method, cursor or, you know, D-pad. In the display mode, you're going to click on simultaneous use space uh, screen doesn't work for this for Netflix for some reason and you're gonna click on uh, simultaneous use and now let's take a look at prime which I haven't done yet so if I wanted to do prime I would just go to display mode change it to simultaneous use get this thing right here say enable and now prime is gonna be on the home screen as you can see you have prime video if you want to test it out, just click on Prime Video and it should, automate, it should open and give you a special display. Now, one thing to note is once you do open uh, an app like Prime, right, it's going to show you a small window. Keep in mind, the screen is a lot more, it's a lot more fluid than this. It's only um, very laggy because I'm rec screen recording. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cursor, you're gonna click on that icon and that would expand your app. So now you have a full screen spatial display and you can watch anything you wanna watch on your Prime Video. It'll be good to have a good internet connection too, that way you can watch anything you wanna watch. To go back to your home screen, all you have to do is double click the back button and it will take you straight home. Now there's another way that you can make this easier to have a special display instead of going to uh, the apps and doing it one by one. All you have to do is go to your settings, change the ATV, ATV launcher to simultaneous display, I mean simultaneous use. And what that does is that uh, that brings your ATV launcher to your home screen. And what you can do then is click on your ATV launcher. The thing is, anytime you click on your ATV launcher, right, it actually opens pretty much almost any app in special mode. Your ATV launcher is literally in special mode. Now, if I were to click on any app, for example, the Lightning browser, which is uh, the web browser for the Beam, I can actually go to youtube.com, which is, you know, where I watch my YouTube content because SmartTube doesn't work. And I can essentially click on any video and enjoy it in special display mode, which is pretty great. Now, once again, the video is a lot uh, more stable it only looks like this because I'm screen recording but yeah you can try out different apps the only app that doesn't work so far is the smart tube everything else works in special display mode one thing I highly recommend is once your special uh, display is turned on you want to set your home launcher back to EV launcher sending it back to EV launcher will make this device run much much smoother but that's it guys uh, if you need help jailbreaking your device I'm gonna put a link to a video that somebody has made it's very very good but yeah that's all take care guys and uh, hopefully I can share more video 
please like comment and subscribe thank you